So this is a quick video to just show you how to use these uh, CSS rollover effects on your images. Um, I'll show you the effects first. So basically, what happens is you've got some CSS that sits in your custom CSS file, and it's a rollover. So as you roll over an image, the CSS picks up on a secret code that's in the alt tag of the image. So for now, I've got the alt tags displaying because they're also captions, but generally speaking, you can have them hidden as well. Um, so at the moment, there's one, two effects. So this is kind of a zoom in and go from slightly desaturated to fully saturated. This is the opposite, fully saturated down to slightly desaturated. Uh, then we have nice blur effect, which I'm probably going to make a reverse blur of as well. Uh, then we've got grayscale up to full color. And also we've got this kind of weird one that I'm not sure what the point of it really is. It's uh, It kind of does a sliding thing. It could be used as something to reveal information, I suppose, but I think it's mainly just for me to play with. Um, it works on standard images. These are image blocks, but it'll also work in image galleries. So there's a gallery image. There's that weird effect, but here's the, the blur. Desaturation, going to full saturation. Zoom. And oh, I don't go zoom the other way out. And then I've also got some down the bottom that I've been playing with, but these only work in Chrome, I think. Um, these are using clipping paths. And so a clipping path is a shape, as you can see. Uh, I'll show you a simple one first of all. So what this is, is a circle that as I roll into the image area, expands. This one here has got, probably going to use the effect as a standard effect anyway, the low opacity uh, blurring that then becomes clear. But also if you look, you can see there's a kind of a parallelogram shape is it a parallelogram whatever it is that as you roll over it changes shape so the idea is you can actually morph as long as there's the same amount of points in each image you can morph from one to the other the problem with it is as i say it only works in chrome and then this one that i really like i think that would be really nice to have smaller but um, to use as next and previous on a blog or something like that so that you've got a little bit of interactivity in the page. And none of this is using JavaScript. This is all just CSS. So now I'll show you how to add it to an image. So if I go back to, I've got the code already installed, which is in my, in my site, in design, in custom CSS. I've basically cut and pasted the code and it's all down the bottom. I've got the custom code in here, but I think it starts about, about here. And it's just pasted in and because it's pasted under the custom CSS here. It'll work on any page on the site. Uh, so if I go to a page on the site, let's have a look. So we'll try it on the about me page. There's a, a photo of me here. Um, there's a graphic down here, but as it's black and white, I don't think there's much point trying any of these fading in and out things because you want to really see a difference in them. So let's let's do something to to my uh, ugly mug. So let's blur it. So what we do is on the administration side of the site, uh, you go to edit the page. You go to look at the caption of the of this image is my name. Uh, now I need to just grab the code that does the blurring. So the code that does the blurring is dot plus. So all I need to do is to go to the caption, add in at the end of the caption dot plus, and then save the page so now if i go back to the live site and refresh and roll over i'm blurry um, let's try a different one dot dot is one of the codes i think that's the zoom in so i've got dot dot save desaturate and zoom in Yay, it works. So it's easy as that, really. So I'm planning to add to them um, so that there's a, a long list of options that people have got that they can use on their sites. Okay, that's the end of the video. Uh, now it's time for me to go away and edit it.